suficiente. Here we are live at DOC as two men have just been gunned down in an act of and This is completely exhilarating as I'm having to wear a face mask because of the smell of the dead bodies. It is absolutely disgruntling. Yo, what's up? Hello. Look at the TV. Say hello to my mum for me. Thank you. The guy that I was just carrying, there's people in the woods with military gear. Officers. They are the friends of the deceased. Here we are live, as it looks like there is a bunch of cars pulling up to DOC, and they look cool. Is there, are they going to race? Officers are edgy as can be. They have their guns out, they have their binoculars out, they're scouting in the woods as there's armed civilians seen in the woods. This seems to be like a military setup. And this is a dead guy, man. He seems to be an affiliated gang member. He had a large, large weapon on him. And officers and civilians took him down like the animal that he is. They will never compare to a real gang like the Narcos. We are coming here live from the death scene of a, an affiliated gang member. And he has gotten sprayed down like a wimp. Yes. Did that wimp? He did. He did. I can, I, I, I can, I can vouch like for The that. Narcos would not have taken this shit. Neither were the Jokers, man. They are real gangs. Like current he fight. He fought him for about 20 years now, and he's uh, currently showing up for his journalist rules. Where is this guy? Okay, welcome to uh, the no. Department of Corrections. As you see, it has a nice lovely day around there. We have the helicopters flying no. low. I'll try to attempt to land them. We have people being run over over there. It's a normal day at the Department of Corrections. As you can see, currently, we have officers trying to shoot him. The bank was invading from fellow police officers and is currently being chased down. We have one air unit on him so far and he's continuing with a sheriff behind him. His small car is catching up to proceed and is heading towards Lakeside. Fortunately, due to a lack of a knees crew, we are not able to pursue. They chase and get it on foot uh, so we just could stand here and wait hope uh, best. No, oh shit, yeah, we see uh, how we see people trying to revive people here. He was just ran over, officer. What do you have to say about this? I mean, the guy's gonna be arrested or he's gonna be fired upon if he has a weapon against other officers. Hmm? So, as you see, like Star News is signing off. Otherwise, I'm gonna get there. Like soon as the back on it, we have the officer stabilized currently. Officer seems to be highly injured. We're trying to get a medic on him shortly, but oh, no medic seems to be available. Sorry, I didn't oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, oh, wow. so. I've got an arm fracture medic. Okay, sir, so, uh, this is uh, Lake uh, Sand News. Yeah, hello. Sir, can you explain what happened to you? Uh, I saw blue blur, and then I blacked out. Basically, all I could say. Uh, do you know what happened? I have no clue. So, so you were ran over by a blue se zebra. Well, you think that was what happened? Yeah, you went flying about 20 meters. So this is uh, the person who was ran over. It looks like he's going to be heading to the hospital and check if there's any medics available to assist him. Fortunately, there's no medics available at current time, so we're going to be Johnny Coleman for him and like the news signing off. Hello sir, welcome to the Lakeside News channel. So we're looking to uh, know what happened today. Explain this to us please. Um, um, I don't really know. I was knocked out on the back of the chopper. Okay sir, so you, do you think you got a shot during the gunstaff? Yes, I got shot two times. That's how I got knocked out. Once sir. in the neck. Up the neck. Oh my, so, it's fine. Oh, Do you remember what happened before? Were you in a shootout or uh, trying to get someone? <gasps> Pursuit, raid, and okay, uh, nothing else. As you see, this officer has been very busy. No, he's well, been doing some raids, pursuits, and stuff. Regular police work on Lakeside. We do thank the officer for his service, and uh, we'll try to get him a secure.
Better get him some medical attention shortly. Just gonna finish off this the interview and we'll be good to go. Okay, sir, so... Uh, do you experience often an issue with the Alice in the police department? Well, it's been By experience, any issue with the Alice in the police department? A lot. Okay, so... Uh, like, do you usually survive those shootings, though, actually? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I do. Well, I have ended up in the hospital three times, but, you know, mm -hmm. rats I have. Okay, yeah, that's good, man, that's good. God. Okay, so, uh, like San is signing off, we can get this guy medical attention now. Um, I'm, uh, do you know what? So it all comes down on you. Alright, sir, you're gonna be let go free, but we're gonna have to remove that illegal weapon. No, uh, wait, I don't know about the. Hold up, I don't know about my weapon now. This is, you know, hard to get. You don't, you know, you don't, you can't just. No, you. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and waste my damage. Ah, nice, bro. Put your hands on your head. Hello, so I am very oh, drunk right now. Right. No, he's my friend. He's too drunk yeah, he's... to know what he's saying. He's allowed to. Alright, so final warning. Put your hands on your head. Up. You're getting detained. You're... So you guys, I'm. What I'm doing is I am trying to tell you where the if the whereabouts of the prostitute is. I'm sure you know you're right. Am I right? Ah, uh, yeah. I just want to let you are not under arrest. I'm only detaining you for your own safety, alright? Mm -hmm. Until you're not drunk anymore. 